Alright, what's up YouTube? Just want to show you my setup for my two bearded dragons. It's a 37 gallon tank. I set one side up desert, the other tropical. And I'll get to that for that reason right now. Alright, on the desert side I have a hide. And then two branches I got from my backyard. And then separated the tropical and desert, I put some rocks in the center. And what I did with the rocks and the branches I got from my backyard, I just stripped the branch of the bark. And the rocks, I just broke them up, put them in there. And all I did was put them in, an oven, in my oven at 350 for 20 minutes to kill all parasites. <clears throat> and my tropical theme, I only did it just so I could put vine in it, give them something to climb on. And have two thermometers on it at all times, usually. The hot side is usually at 81, the cool side is at 80, but basking is at about 105 usually all the time. Right now I have a thermometer in there, I'll show you right now. And I have my dishes, vegetables, and then my mealworm dish, but <laughs> I actually left out my mealworms and they turned to beetles. So now they get beetles as treats every now and then. I really don't advise on giving them mealworms all the time. I think of it as more of a treat than anything. <clears throat> all right, as lighting, I have a 2.0 UV and then a 5.0. It's actually really good for your beardies to mix them up like that. It gives them all the UV they really need. Right now I have a ceramic heat light. It's 100 watt. And then there's one of my beardies. You can see him right there. That's Hef, I believe. He's lighter. And right now I have no clue where Ed is. He's in there digging. See if you can see him right there. I'll go ahead and open it up and give you guys a view from up top. Right here's a view from top. I have two canopies for them. They really don't use them. They use the vine mostly. Hef is usually around here, or Ed, either or, whichever beats them there. And. I really suggest on getting your beardies on vegetables as soon as possible. I've had a lot of friends that have a hard time switching on vegetables after a while once they get bigger. <clears throat> Water training is really easy. I know there's a whole bunch of videos out there on YouTube. Just go ahead and check them out. It's really easy to get your bearded dragon to eat from a to drink from a water dish. And right now, basking area is at 105. There's which one is that one? That's gonna be Hiss. He's the one that's bigger. And Ed, he's always in here just chilling. See if I can get him out there. Good see him right there just chilling, like always. Oh, I want to crush him. Bearded dragons are the easiest guys to take care of. If any beginners out there, get a bearded dragon. Easy guys to take care of, no real. Missing nothing. You just got to watch where you feed them, heating, and that's pretty much it. And then there's their neighbor Rocco. Be plenty of videos of him feeding pretty soon. And that's about it, you guys. Just let me know what you think of my setup, and hopefully I give you guys an idea what you could do with your setup.